Have you ever had this happen to you? Then boy oh boy have I got a video full of tips for you. Today we're covering ways to break the dreaded stalemate in Hoi 4 and I'm even going to be going over what causes a stalemate and how to break one. If you guys have any Hoi 4 videos that you want me to do, let me know down below in the comments section and I will do my best to get to it as soon as possible. I'd also like to thank my one and only Patreon YouTube hero for supporting the channel. Now, let's get this started. So what actually causes the stalemate in the first place? 99% of the time, it's this. The dreaded evil entrenchment bonus where the enemy is so defended they've started using their own comrades' corpses as sandbags and to make it worse, Stalin, or in this case De Gaulle, just enacted Order 227 and built forts on the poor farmers' farms. Now the number one way to cause a stalemate is just to simply hide behind a river line. That's it. Well, and have air superiority, high organization infantry, and it doesn't hurt to throw in some AT along with that. Now, here is how to break the monstrosity of a mechanic so it never happens again. Pretty much, air wins wars. It's very plain and simple, it's just air wins wars. If you have more planes than an enemy in a zone, they're gonna get their heavy penalties to defense, and the cast is gonna help you in the attack anyway. Now, if your enemy has forts, get strat bombers and bomb the forts and the infrastructure. Now, if that doesn't work because they have air superiority, or you're in multiplayer because strap bombers are banned and they have forts, you're dead. Thanks for watching. Well, actually, there is one other thing you can do. Correction, a few things you can still do. I made a video recently talking about how overpowered anti-aircraft is. If the enemy has air superiority, that's going to make your divisions weaker when going into combat, yada yada yada, so add a few anti-aircraft guns to remove the air superiority penalty. Next. Make super heavy tank divisions. You don't need a 40 width, just something to break the line and run over the enemy troops and forts, and max out the organization and soft attack as much as possible. Now if they don't have forts, do the exact same thing but with medium tanks and self propelled artillery instead. Next thing you can do, which would have probably honestly been the easiest, sorry for wasting your time, if it's an AI you're going up against, Pull your troops back enough to make them move and therefore breaking the stalemate because the entrenchment bonus is gone and they're off of their forts, which hopefully fingers crossed you're able to break through and encircle them and kill them and encircle them and kill them and so on and so on, but just fall back a little bit, give it a shot. Next would be to use paratroopers. One thing to do with this is if someone is entrenched in a fort line somewhere in the mountains, say for example the Maginot. One thing you can do is make one battalions mix with 10 widths. If they have air superiority, use naval invasions. If you don't have a navy, you are killing me. You are physically killing me by making my head just melt. Now, if you don't have naval superiority, or air superiority, or even a friggin' tech advantage anymore, the last thing you can do before all hope is lost and you have to wait for the Russians to storm Berlin is endlessly charge into the entire front line on aggressive praying to god that somewhere the organization is going to drop low enough that you can break through and try to push forward fast and hard now if you still haven't broken it execute order 66 and news nuclear bombs that's your final option if all else has failed beg the enemy for mercy and plead with them not to do to you what they did in mussolini in real life good luck thanks for watching and i will see you guys next time